Dungeons and Daddies is a rowdy, horny, violent podcast for grown-ups. Content warnings can be found in the episode description. It's been two weeks since we're D&D. In a crummy campaign, DM by scary. Two weeks since you killed us too. Saying you can't do just what you thought you were gonna do. One day since that Willie a dude. Immobilize all of our dads, so what could we do? Yesterday we said by her me. And it'll still be a ways till we see if we're worthy. Tickety Tony, the pepperoni. You got an anchor, cause you're sad and lonely. Playing Fortnite with Grant Wilson. We're on the wagon. I hear those off, I'm on in this one. Like Willie Stapler, I'm a bad man. Like Lincoln Batman. Like Ronan Blade, I am a samurai. Like Gary Gygax, I throw 20s. Wait, I don't have D. I guess I gotta make some cheesy die. Who's gonna hang back with our dads? He's gonna scam them really bad just so those zoomers don't always ruin all our big schemes. Gotta get Hatsune Amy Kutus cause that cartoon has got the boom vocaloid voice that gives Taylor a Swifty. How can I help it if you think my uncle is my dad? Trying hard to show a smile though I feel bad. I'm the kind of kid who wants to help the doodler. Can't see what I mean, well you soon will. I have a tendency to wear a big head of a teen. I have a history of not washing my shirt. It's been two weeks since we're D&D. In a crummy campaign, DM by scary. Two weeks since you killed us too. Saying you can't do just what you thought you were gonna do. One day since that Willie a dude. Immobilize all of our dads, so what could we do? Yesterday we said by her me. And it'll still be a ways till we see if we're worthy. And it'll still be a ways till we see if we're worthy. And it'll still be a ways till we see if we're worthy. Teen High Stadium, home of the team. Welcome to Dungeons and Daddies, not a BDSM podcast, definitely not a D&D podcast for many reasons. My name is Freddie Wong. Contractually, we have to clarify, it's not, not a D&D a podcast. It's a D&D podcast. Do you, no, no. They I don't is, even know what D and or D stand for. This has never been a D&D yeah. podcast. Never been, right? That pod already exists. We are never been a D&D <laughs> podcast. At People point. for years have been like, man, you know, follow the rules of D&D. It's like, yeah, because we knew what was fucking coming down. We knew what was fucking right. coming. These <laughs> notes are dumb. cheated on me when I was hating on D&D, but now. Now it's I'm, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Look at watch how Beth trend sets and the rest of the world fucking catches up. Happy New Year, everyone. It's 2023. We're back for another fucking year of this bullshit. OGL stands for oh good luck, okay. Wizards of the Coast. <laughs> this is a 1.1 complacent podcast. Complacent. Or, <laughs> is that complacent? What is this? Compliant. It is go. also you, a little complacent. <laughs> yeah. complacent. You may be wondering what we are. Here's what we are. We're a role-playing game podcast where we play a role-playing game where we roll dice. No, this one. This is a story. That has nothing to do with role-playing games. <laughs> Just this is like story. Game of Thrones. This is really all about stories. Yeah. Just like story. This is a story about four teens from our world who discovered their world was our world, and now they got to fix it with a little help from their friends. I'm one of the teens. My name is Freddie Wong. <laughs> <laughs> OGL is already making the show better. <laughs> Freddie, over the break, did another improv D&D thing. Yes. It's like in a JRPG when you send off one of your guys to go train and he comes back with new skills. I feel like Freddie's come back with like new host energy. That or like you have a friend that like goes mission. to like a European country and they come back with and they an have accent. a bunch of new words and accents yeah. like that. But Freddie went to a new improv land. Well, in France, <laughs> shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> We get it. They're trained improv artists who worked with Freddy. I like to think of it. It's like when different countries send like their special forces to the U.S. to learn from the real killers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they come back home and they can't turn it off and their yeah, family yeah, yeah, leaves yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. So, Freddy, you're a teen on this podcast. I'm a teen on this podcast. I play Taylor Swift, the weeb anime ranger teen of the group. Happy New Year, everyone. 2023. It's talk about New Year's resolution, specifically Taylor's New Year's resolution. Taylor's New Year's resolution is as follows. Taylor wants to get more into doing some fan dubs of animes. So what he's been doing is like prior to all the events of the season is he was like downloading things off of YouTube downloads. He's like, all right, I'm going to give this a shot. I'm going to try my hand in anime voice acting because I have a nepotistic end to the industry. <gasps> he's a nepo baby. Nepo baby. Nepo baby, <laughs> Taylor. So then he was like, first things first. Time to download some episodes of an anime that I like to dub it over. And then he spent the next four hours trying to figure out which YouTube downloader to use because each one was fake. And there was like some of them were too Lost Bioware on the computer. Bioware. So now his mom's computer has Lost Bioware. You know who the first <laughs> anime Nepo baby was? Was Gohan. <laughs> <laughs> That was good, Will. I actually got that one. Oh, all right. Oh. Hey, I'm Will Campos. I'm taking that spot because <laughs> okay, I yeah, got a compliment. New year, new order. New year, new me. I play Hermie. No, I don't. Let me start over. <laughs> what? It's been a while. It's been like a month since you recorded. I play Normal Oak. Mm -hmm. Normal is a mixed up mascot kid who doesn't know who he is anymore. He's figuring himself out. 
Fun fact about Normal this week, Normal's main career goal, obviously, is to be a mascot. Mm -hmm. Normal's backup career, like if he can't make it as a mascot, is that he wants to be a therapist. Wow. Because okay. he very incorrectly assumes that it's basically just like being a mascot, but for one person. Oh. <laughs> you know, like you're there, you cheer them up. People are feeling down. They don't have any energy. You pump them up, you know? I so, have so much respect for anybody who says to their friends or their family that they're going to be a therapist because you could see everything you need to know about how good a therapist you'll be by the look on their faces. <laughs> yeah. like, There's no oh, easier way okay. for it to get right. your friends to judge well, you than to say, I'm going to be a therapist. And they're like, everybody's oh, reaction. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. You are. You, okay. Oh, therapists have to do that thing where they take therapy first, right? To do that, right? <laughs> like, cool. like a horse Just therapist? Sure. They have like, to have like good advice, <laughs> right? Yeah. Cool. Hey, everybody. My name is Matthew Arnold, third place in the podcast now. I play Lincoln <laughs> Lee Wilson. Demoted. No, because Beth would be first. So I'm second now. We go from worst to best on this podcast. Sorry, Will. Wait, what? What Sorry, the fuck? Will, you demoted yourself. It's the DEF CON system? <laughs> yep, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a list. When you read the list, so it's the fucking top 10 games of the year. They right. don't do number well, one first. doesn't start with, a, with Elden Ring. You know, yeah, they exactly. work their way up to it. My name is Matthew Arnold. I play Lincoln Lee Wilson, the school at home soccer kid, who's the protective paladin in the group. Also, New Year's resolution. Link has the same New Year's resolution every year. And mm. it is that this year he will not get sick. Ah. <laughs> Works really hard. <laughs> and he gets really into it. The reason is, one, he can't train for soccer. And two, his dad's got to take care of him. So he feels like a burden when he's sick. So he's got to work really, really hard That's not to get sick. So... He gets sick every January, though. So it's just a, it's a very can, tough time. Friends of the podcast, if you look at all the clues Matt's laid out about Link's facts and his backstory, if you trace them all together, you can find out if Link is vaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just say, it's not part of the fact, but Link... Link is the opposite of anti-vax. Like, he's into anything. Any new age man. <laughs> like, he's drinking apple cider. He's drinking, you know. Apple cider. Like the vinegar. Yeah, apple no, he's cider. The, the vinegar. famous thing you drink when you want to not be sick. The health Grant's food. Like, why apple are there just, cider. Why, why is there just a bunch of ginseng in here? It's like, I'm just chewing that on the go. Like, whatever happens. Like, I heard it might help. Anthony, can Matt get, like, a plus one to his constitution score for all of this stuff that Link has? I have so many vitamins in me. Yeah. You know what? Mark it on there. Is Link in a nootropic stack? <laughs> yes, he has everything. Yeah, that's the thing is I think if you go into nootropics, it's definitely like reducing your ability to fight off certain diseases. He sees, he sees multivitamins. Like they, Bitcoin. He goes, they have multivitamins. They have vitamins for him and her. He's like, well, that seems pretty like <laughs> presumptive. He just takes all the vitamins. He's like, <laughs> he's like, we're all humans. I need all the vitamins. As an ally, I'm going to take both. <laughs> His pee is very dark. He passes through no, a lot of vitamins. What are you talking vitamins. about? He fucking pisses and it glows at night, dude, like a nightlight. Um, okay, hi, I'm Beth May, and I play Scary Marlowe. <laughs> Gothfunk Seeker of Darkness, who is not like the other warlocks. Oh, okay. Fun fact about Scary this week. Her least favorite song. Song she fucking hates. Can't stand it whenever it plays or whenever people sing it. Mm -hmm. It's the birthday song. These people will just join in like sheeple, maybe. Oh, and, nice. And they don't really care about who's at the center of it, whose birthday it really is. They don't give a fucking shit. So that's why. <laughs> Wait, was that? Sorry, real quick. Was that they don't give a fuck and shit or fucking shit? Both. Oh, wow. What about when it's Scary's birthday? Yeah. Yeah. Does she not fucking, like getting sung the song? Well, like, I don't know. Not everybody's singing, so. How does Beth feel about the fact that it's her birthday? It's not my birthday anymore. How does Beth feel about the fact that none of us wish to have a birthday <laughs> yesterday? I felt sad because I care a medium amount about my birthday. Like, I don't have a birthday party, but I do care a medium amount about it. A real 16 candles. situation. Well, we wanted to save it for this podcast. <laughs> That's right, That's everybody. Right. Those, of you, birthday, those of you listening at home, join along with us as we wish our co- No, fuck off. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. It's Anthony's birthday tomorrow. <laughs> Happy birthday, birthday to Anthony, Anthony and Beth. But Beth, not later. Anthony, not yet. A lot of parents getting horny in April. I know at least five people who were born in this week or next week. I know, oh, fuck same, time. yeah. yeah April. Primo fucked up. April showers. April um, fools. Oh, gross. Fools, like, rush in. Uh, <laughs> I'm Anthony Birch, apparently the Elden Ring of this podcast. And, <laughs> uh, my dad fact is that a couple weeks ago, or a week ago, I went to uh, open mic to see if I could do some stand-up. <gasps> I, I didn't get picked. I, it was a random draw, or if you were one of the ten people who got there first, you would get in. But everyone should go to an open mic just to see what true confidence looks like. <laughs> Just to, th there was a guy who came up. I'm going to change all of the specific things they said and descriptions of them so nobody gets too embarrassed if they happen to know these people, but you don't. But a guy came up, and every 
punchline he said was followed by him punching the air and saying kablam. <laughs> it really sounds like a genius. Yeah. Movie. Well, that's the thing. Is it, at first it wasn't funny, and then he did a Holocaust joke, and it was especially not funny. And then he did it again, and it became really funny. <laughs> kablam. And then somebody uh, kept saying uh, that was a punchline. You're supposed to laugh, like not in a cute way, like in an angry way. And then Love. they went over their time, and as they were leaving the stage, they went, "I'm going to be back here every week. You all going to watch me grow." And I was like, "Damn." <laughs> That's kind of cool. <laughs> That's a good line. Yeah, so I'm I'm just gonna be thinking about that. What are you gonna do? What were you? What, do you have like actually a thing plan? You're trying to yeah. Grow it, the skill basically, set? if you do the laugh factory and because the only person I know knows anything about spoken word stuff is Beth. So I was like, Beth, where's stand up comedy? I know. And, and Beth took like, a break from her busy life to be like, oh my god, and googled well, something. You asked me like about open mics, and I only know about poetry open mics, and so it's like I, I didn't know I if hate, they were the same or I different. That would be confidence. Go to a poetry open night. And comedy are very different. Yeah, but a lot of your poetry is genuinely. And unironically Hilarious. funny. Thank you. But yeah, no, like a lot of poetry places kind of gatekeep comedians because like, can you imagine like, bad, a bunch most of people bearing their soul and yeah. then coming in, kablam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to watch me grow like a fucking house It's just the way you say it. If you just say like, kablam. Kablam. Yeah, yeah. Just whisper it. <laughs> kablam. Thank uh, you. Kablam. Yeah. No, the Laugh Factory has you do a tight two and it has to be clean. I was like, why does it have to be clean? Yeah, I love that it has to be clean. That's <laughs> awful. Because somebody comes up, well, I found out because somebody came up and would immediately just start cursing a lot because they thought that was funny and I was like, oh, okay. So when we last left you, you had just learned that the first anchor that you needed to find was the anchor of loneliness, and it had taken the form of Tony Pepperoni, the <gasps> principal of Teen High. I didn't realize who's the anchor of loneliness. Yeah, that says a lot about him. I mentioned it kind of offhand. I didn't think anybody caught it. Yeah, it's yeah. the anchor of loneliness personified. And last we saw him, was it clear that he was divorced in the middle of a divorce or together but unhappy? I think things were heading towards a divorce. Okay, okay. I'm things are on the rocks. Yeah. On the rocks. Mm. For some reason, the one line I remember <laughs> from this whole podcast <laughs> this season is that he very specifically <laughs> saw his wife get a text his wife sent him a text message that said, dick me down, big Ralphie. <laughs> and he was like, I don't know. That's, that could be anything. That could be anything. Man, I don't it's remember like that at all. Every four days, the phrase, dick me down, big Ralphie. <laughs> so the first name, Ralph, and then Margarita is... Margarita Pizza Margarita is his daughter. His daughter. Okay, okay, um, okay. I feel like knowing the family is going to be important. I feel like our instinct is not to just a murder. It's a... It's a for therapy teens and solve this Maybe, in yeah. a more creative way. Uh, so. And also your parents and Willie, you locked successfully, I guess, inside the dungeon, the daddy's dungeon oh, yeah. with a garage door opener type thing. And they are currently in there, solving presumably puzzles. solving puzzles <laughs> that uh, <laughs> Hermie the Unworthy is, is reciting to as them outside the, the door. As the Riddler. Yes. And um, then we get items, right? Yes, oh, every fuck. week. <laughs> we had all vacation to look at have, every item. You did. Oh, we didn't do that. <laughs> oh, I did that. You did okay, that? thank you. Best. I took a half hour every two days and looked through because it's thousands and thousands of items and my attention span is very short. Every week you will be able to choose one of our listener submitted items and May Hales will get it for Thank you. Thank you, listeners. Thank you, listeners. Oh, so no, sorry, I... not listeners, Patreon supporters. Listeners don't actually get this benefit. I mean, some listeners have probably talked to people and made them Patreon. You know what? If you're just listening, you're not getting me sending money. That's fine. It's thank you. fine. Thank you. Thank you. That's fine. It's fine. Thank you. I'll say thank you. I'll I'm not going to be psyched, you. but it's okay. It's I'm allowed. I'm psyched. It's fine. Can I say what item I got? Happily. So this is an item submitted by Alfonso. It is the baseball cap of shadiness. Provides the user with the ability to be perceived by others as a friendly face as long as they pass an insert check here. Okay. It's the baseball cap that Captain America wears during that one part in that yeah. one movie. Yeah, it's the Winter Soldier Captain America baseball cap that immediately makes you blend in wherever you are. You reached out to May Hales and asked for the shady baseball cap, and May Hales sent it to you direct through an Amazon drone, and you now possess it. Nice. When we last left you, you were literally right outside the teacher's lounge office as Principal Tony Pepperoni was talking to the rest of the faculty for the beginning of work week sort of pump up speech that he likes to do. <laughs> it's like when the police chief like has that yeah. meeting with all of the detectives at the start of the wire. All right, keep it down, everybody. You, you're teaching first grade. You're, you're teaching. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're teaching second grade. <laughs> you're this, this is the most duty. useless meeting. Why are we doing this every week? What do you want to do now? He's irritated that you interrupted him. What do you want? What is it? Hey, why are you all teaching? 
You're supposed to be teaching. It's like seven, eight. Were you here? Oh, oh, for daylight while. savings. Oops. No, we're just here early to get a start on the yeah. day. And we thought we would observe uh, the teachers because, you know, teachers are our future, as they always say. You know, they always say children are the future. But, you know, we kids think that the teachers are the future because they teach the children about the future. You, so yeah. we're the future. Like deception. A, you all might be our future because the four of us have started a club about becoming teachers. And we're thinking about becoming teachers. So, like, uh, we want to observe you guys. All right, both of yeah. you are deception. Okay. Oh, natural 20, baby. All right. First of all, you're the gear, strong, motherfucker. Baby. I feel like normal's natural 20 just automatically means that follow up. I got 12, so they didn't really listen to me. Normal is so confident and so charismatic Love when it. explaining that teachers are the future <laughs> that if you so wish, they will also believe your lie that you are starting a future <laughs> Teachers of America club. Yes, absolutely. That'll give us good like cover for like why we want to follow Tony around yeah. and stuff. Yeah. We all want to be teachers. So yeah, um, as the uh, principal of the Future Teachers oh, of America club, I suggested that we all uh, should follow you today, Tony Pepperoni. I mean, Mr. Pepperoni. And find out your weaknesses as a teacher. And yeah. strengths. And strengths. And uh, maybe the dark contents of your heart, uh, if that should come up at all in any way. And um, I thought we would start there. So he's looking at you with like a scowl in his eyes. But one frame, no animation, like in an anime, his cheeks just get a little bit red. <laughs> and he goes, <laughs> no. all right. Yeah, you can follow me around. That's fine. I mean, you need to see how it's done properly, and I'm, I'm pretty much the best principal. All right, everybody! He ushers you into the room with all the teachers. He goes, these are the future teachers of America. They're going to be shadowing me, learning how, how to be a principal. So uh, you treat them Hi. like you treat me, with deference, silence, and, and respect. Snickers all around. Everyone's Everyone, like, hey, really hey. excited. Uh, just so you know, none of us will be in any of your classes today. We're going to be following yes, him around. Yes, to be clear, we are assigning ourselves this extracurricular activity. Well, so. sometimes I like to drop in and just sit in the back and make him really nervous. So you might be around with me for Ooh, that. Yeah, that's oh. fun. Let's do that, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got to focus. Okay. Principal Pepperoni, uh, we're going to be right back. Okay. Oh. I was all psyched for you to follow me around, but you already want to... Okay. No, just for two seconds. We, no, we, yeah, we all need to go Leave to the bathroom. Leave me alone again. Yep. No, that sounds about right. Okay. Everyone. I kind of take that? everyone back outside into the outback. break room. Take everyone to the Outback, outback steakhouse. steakhouse. Something in my heart tells me that the anchor is in Tony Pepperoni. So do we kill him? I'm down with killing him. I don't want to kill. I mean, he's my arch enemy. I kind of hate his guts. So but you like, want to kill him? I don't yeah. know. The whole point is to not kill people. Like, the, the whole thing is, is to end is the violence. That? Do you think it's like a physical object in him or like <sighs> metaphorical? He, like so again, the doodler's negative emotions have been trapped in anchors across the realms. Yeah. And in him, I sense this deep, you know, I always thought he was just a big jerk, but like, I'm kind of starting to realize that people got a lot of sides to him, and I think he's really lonely. Uh. Like, I think the doodler's loneliness is in him. So maybe if we can like, I don't know, help him out, like we can expel that dark energy and that'll break the anchor and we won't have to kill him. Normally you can see, even if nobody else can see, like a red glow kind of emanating from Tony of Pepperoni and you can feel in your heart that this red glow is fear crystallized from the doodler. That may be relevant like in 15 episodes, but just like this thing you know, fear is okay. red. 15 episodes, wow. wow. <laughs> and he's really calling it a shot. It may not. Well, that's a very simple answer to this, Normal, which is that, well, if he's feeling lonely, he can always apply the universal south to loneliness, anime. Why don't we just get a small curated handpicked selection of the greatest of anime hits, and that way we can just play it for him and then he'll be fine. Okay, I like that. Do we just need to make him not lonely? Like, I'm not doing anything else. I'm just with you guys. We just hang, like, just become his best friends. It's not that kind of loneliness, man. What kind of loneliness is this, yeah, Gary? Just, what, what do you think? I don't know. It's like that loneliness, like, when you look in the mirror and know that there's nobody who will ever truly know you except yourself, and nobody even wants to try. But if you were looking in the mirror and then you saw, like, me behind you, like, <laughs> hey! <laughs> What's up, friend? Like, wouldn't that change? Like, you'd be less lonely, right? It's a loneliness when you know that nobody understands. So hmm. I think we just got to kind of, like, uh, listen to his problems, well, maybe? Yeah, that's great. That's <gasps> like my favorite thing to a do. A therapist, which is almost as good as a mascot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, team. I'm feeling good about this. Let's get back in so, there. observe and report. We're going to observe. It seems like we're kind of going with this idea of figuring out, but if you want to like maybe clue in and see if you can think of an anime that he likes after we follow him around for a yeah, little bit. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, like keep a, that in mind. Like a fine wine sommelier, I will take the correct anime and apply it. Let's also be on the lookout for Margarita. We could ask her like questions about her dad and see what's going no, on with her. Uh, yeah, we got oh, an inside. We, no, no, we can. Yes. <laughs> and we can get like his wife to maybe text him or something. Yeah, yeah. this is what I don't understand is it seems like he has everything. Yeah. He He's got the respect of the school. He's got a job where he gets to interact with kids all day. That's fun. You know, he's got a family. He's got a car with doors and wheels. Yes, what is missing in this but, So what could be missing for this man? Yes. Mm. Okay. Okay, so you hear from inside the faculty office, three, two, one, break. And then a bunch of really unenthusiastic <laughs> people going, break. 
And then the doors open and a bunch of the teachers file out. You're doing a great job, guys. You have the best job in the world. You want me just like you someday. <laughs> Are you holding up your hands for like high yeah, fives high like fives the end of a Pee Wee League game? Get in there. Get in the game. Good job. Game bro, game. Good game. Straight good up game. one good teacher game. spits in his hand and shakes it and looks you down. Bro. <laughs> Like uh, a good way? You ever did that? No. No. <laughs> Wait, what? You know what I'm talking about. Well, like, like no. to like DM <laughs> after a match? Like, yeah, like there was like the thing when you were like played soccer and it was like afterwards everyone's like high fiving the other team and the other team, like if they didn't spitting. like you, they'd spit in their hand. Yeah. They'd, oh, that's a thing? Oh, no. Wait, yeah. what? Am I the only. That's never happened to me, but it's happened to a teammate of mine. We were always a big fan of the like, you do the psych. Yeah, uh, psych. Mm. We were oh. gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I respected the post game handshake. <laughs> yeah. Never once did anything interesting happen. Not to in me. the fucking <laughs> leagues and Seattle. Seattle, I'll tell you that much. Damn. Not in JV football. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he comes out and he puffs up his chest. He goes, all right, so usually what I like to do at the beginning of the morning, somebody writing this down? Yes, What yeah, I like absolutely. to do is uh, sort of wander around to a random classroom and then just sort of stand in the back, you know, let them know I'm there, yeah. uh, keeps morale up. Any particular class you want to check out, I usually do it randomly. Well, 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 what classes do you like, uh, Mr. Pepperoni? Espanol. Espanol, interesting. What do you like Espanol? Because uh, I don't know it. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, kids. And he leans over. He goes, I may be a teacher, but in a lot of ways, I'm also a student. <gasps> oh, I'm a student wow. of life. You never stop being a student. Keep that wow. in mind. I'm writing that. that I, I'm actually writing that down. That's good. That's Thank pretty you. good. Yeah. Yeah, no, I know. All right. Let's go. As his loneliness. Andiamo, as we hey. say. No, wait. That's not what we say. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Hey, Tony, has anybody told you? You're just like a, you're a good friend. I already feel less lonely around you. <laughs> it's just a weird feeling. I just He narrows his eyes and cocks his head just like I did right then. <laughs> and then he gave a real I've a real been response. with you for like a few minutes, but like I already... Roll persuasion or deception, depending on whether or not you're lying. Link, can you chill? <laughs> I got a 13. He just puts his hand on your face and just shoves a little bit, and he goes, <laughs> flattery doesn't work on me. Oh, Don't man, another it. great aspect of your personality. Brown nosers never get anywhere. You should know that. All right, I'm writing that down. All right, right now you look like your face is made of chocolate. Oh. Well, not your whole face. That could be offensive. <laughs> Just your nose. <laughs> Just your nose looks like it's made of chocolate. <laughs> I'm not accusing you of anything else. <laughs> Let Tony Pepperoni wheel that back a little bit. <laughs> you look Holy like a brown shit. noser because your nose was in my butt. <laughs> Nothing racial. <laughs> I was just being Willy Wonka. I'm just a just Willy Wonka kind of thing. Chocolate. <laughs> Holy shit. Here's $20. And he just hands you $20. I can't get kicked out of another school district. <laughs> yeah. I'm on a three strikes rule. I have two oh in. Oh my God. It's the bottom of the ninth for my career. Let's not tell anybody about that. Holy you know what? Let's not go to Spanish either. It feels like it's a risky place now. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to English. <laughs> so just regular English, huh? We're just going to, uh, yeah, we're going to English. Unless you want to go to uh, urology. Uh, yeah, English sounds That's good. good. Prince yeah, of Pal. Hey, um, <laughs> Prince of Pal and Prince of Pal, am I right? I lean over to Scary and say, hey, Scary, psst, psst, it's me normal. What? Uh, look, you know, I was thinking, did you ever see that movie Silence of the Lambs? Yeah. You know how they got to use, like, that serial killer guy to catch another serial killer? Yeah. Well, like, you're really, like, dark and lonely. Killer? No, you're, like, dark and lonely. You're That's... saying I'm a serial what, killer? What do you want from me? I'm just, you know, I thought you'd think that, that was cool. That is the coolest thing you <laughs> could ever tell me. Yeah, you're like a serial killer. And, like, you're, you're like a badass and you're dark and lonely. And, like, we need to get into his head. And he's dark and lonely. So I was thinking, like, do you have any tips or advice? Maybe you can, like, try to get him to open, like, play mind games with him or something like oh, that. That's like, a good idea because I think he's already, like, a big fan of mine. So, like, me telling him he's a friend, like, doesn't mean yeah, anything. Doesn't I think, mean like, anything. you. Maybe you should take lead on just like making him like, you know, listen and feel good. Like, like we got to get yeah. in that dark heart of his. So like, you know, like, do you have any like. What are topics to bring up to people like you? Just get in there and sort of bust his brain open a little. Okay. Okay. I'll give it a go. So English, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like you speak it. I speak it as well. It sucks. But not we're, like as much. Behind, we're like behind Tony Pepperoni, like giving her thumbs up. <laughs> like, so he was like, Good job, you're doing good. He like stops walking to <laughs> class to turn and face you. He's like, This is going to take all my attention. You know what? My favorite part of English is, is the acronyms like ISS in school suspension. Oh, yeah. You have a pretty bad uh, attendance record, if memory serves. Quite a problem, child. You are scary. Hey, why aren't you on the soccer team anymore? Oh, that's a very personal question. Why aren't you with your wife anymore? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have Tony roll for psychic damage. 
<laughs> Guys, I think I'm doing really good. <laughs> Normal's like, no. Link's already put his hand on Tony's shoulder and giving him like, you can tell us. <laughs> like, look. He gets a natural 20 of psychic damage. Oh. <laughs> so he his knees buckle underneath him and he just falls down on all fours. He goes, oh. Let it out, buddy. Oh, oh no. no. Hug him. No. <laughs> we drag him into like a nearby, like. <laughs> like fucking Mel Gasol. We just drag him into no, his <laughs> arms. Into his arms so they can see him. <laughs> he's just, yeah, he's just, ah. Oh. He's still doing it as your trackers, ah, oh, as you're pulling him by the arms. <laughs> Guys, give me a hand here. We got to get out of the hallway before the students come. Gary, great work. That was so cool. Uh, yeah, sure. Grab his legs. The nearest room you pull him into is the former uh, debate classroom <laughs> in which Normal's mother was a debate teacher and all the kids got doodlerized by the mayor. And you still see there's viscera on the walls. Not like human viscera, but like doodler viscera on the walls. You have to like break through a little bit of caution tape to get in there. But this is where you can be not heard. And he's just, <laughs> ah! And it's just cries are echoing off the goopy walls. If I want to be where I'm not heard, I could go anywhere in the school. <laughs> get it? Ah! Does he accept my hug? She Does left he... me. She left me. Oh. Oh, that's so oh, wow. Wow. Mr. That's Tony, that, Mr. Tony Pe Pepperoni, what is the thing that you desire most in the world? What? <laughs> is that even a, 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 an ambiguous question? No, right don't now? worry hey, about my him. fucking wife. My wife left me. Look at her. Oh, look at her. Well, he gentlemen, his phone and she probably didn't really leave you, right? <laughs> she, he shows you the texts, which are just, he never sent her a text correcting her and saying, this is the wrong phone number. So you just see an ascendingly graphic litany of texts about all the things that she wants Ralphie to dick her down up and sideways around. And well, she goes, he goes, she's left, she's left me for Ralphie. In another way of thinking about it, it's pretty cool that despite how much she likes this guy Ralphie, she still hasn't left you. So like, that says something, right? Roll persuasion with disadvantage. 13. So 13 is not going to do He's going to go, no, you know principals make so much fucking money, don't you? She's just trying to suck at the teeth of big principal money until she could buy a new place for herself. Whoa, 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 hold all on, her hold money. on, hold on, Mr. T Mr. Pepperoni. I deserve it. Oh, no, well, let's not go there. You're telling me that, do you folks, are you still living together? In a sense. But you feel distant. <laughs> I mean, she comes home with three of the morning stinking of joy and cum. <laughs> And then I gotta get up a couple hours later and my like, honey, do you need anything? And she's like, no. That's why she, she sounds just like me. She goes, I've been taken care of quite sufficiently. And so I go, okay. And I wake up Margarita and we go to school in silence. Oh man. And I get here and I zone out. I just sit in the back of teacher's room so nobody looks at me and I just think about my life and where I went wrong. Damn, well, this is well, really this heavy. hard. Wow, this is a uh, uh, team huddle. Team huddle, everyone, just give us one second. Mr. I just want someone to fix me or kill me. <laughs> <laughs> you heard him? He wants to be No, 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 no. Well, we really bit off a lot here. I, this is a little out of my depth. I mean, like, right. like in a movie, what would we do? We, like set him up with a new girlfriend or something? Should we well, get him no, out? No, what do we do? No, I think well, first, I'm just saying that many, many great animes are about Guys with options. <laughs> so what if we get him a bunch of possibilities? Maybe we should reach out through our, our network and find what? other maybe young, hot, single principals in the I area. I still, I don't know. I've seen the pictures, but like my understanding is like once you get married, like you love each other, it just stays that way. So like I, I think he's misunderstanding the situation. Maybe. <laughs> like I know these pictures look pretty bad, but like, I don't know. I've talked to my dads and like, it's just, it doesn't sound like a marriage I've heard of. I, I don't know. I'm freaking out. Tony, just a quick smile. <laughs> <laughs> he turns to you, he's his fucking to face is red. Picture, I take a picture of however his face is. He's, he looks like he's like his face is contorted into agony, his cheeks are fucking red, and there's tears rolling down his and face. And I text, the, and okay. I text Miss Hale, I say, interesting question, Mark. I say, <laughs> <laughs> quick, wait, wait. I don't know, it's the, only, it's the only grown up we know that's like uh, single. Here, I've got this covered. I take the picture and I upload it to Tinder, and I say, Hot, lonely, lonely, sad, sad man looking to be lonely. Oh, say he spends all day with kids. What? Say he's with kids, kids I mean, all the time. And <laughs> he's good with them. Say he's with <laughs> kids all the time. <laughs> he's good with them. He's good with say kids. He has kids. <laughs> say he's with kids okay. all the time. Okay, has kids no love time him. Kids love him. for you, only with kids. Yeah. Oh, oh, Doesn't oh. that make him hotter? Scary, Question scary, mark. scary, scary, scary. Make sure to say he's six feet tall. Six foot one. Oh, wow, okay, oh. good. Good, 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 good thinking, good thinking. And 
has a beard. You can grow a beard, right? Uh, yeah, given enough time. Yeah. Oh, makes beard thousands of dollars. Makes what? literally thousands, thousands of dollars. dollars a year. Makes thousands of dollars a year. Drooly emotion face. Emoji. Eggplant. Eggplant. Eggplant, Eggplant emoji. emoji. Oh, um, he's healthy. He's dancing vegetables. twins emoji. Um, he's a dancer. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, Tony, what are some of your hobbies? Uh, uh, do you want a eating? tissue? You got like a big snap. No, bubble. I feel my feelings. <laughs> uh, I do like to dance uh, when nobody's watching, though. I like sports. I like sports entertainment. I like uh, <laughs> I like all kinds of physical activity, but either participating in or watching from a distance. Uh, not Just, with kids. Like the, I don't care about kids' sports. That's not a thing for me. I find it boring as around hell. kids all the time, but doesn't like watching kids play. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, put that in. Make that bold. Bold. And so he knows we're doing this now. Let's uh, dance. Yeah, now now like he's over your shoulder watching you make his tender <laughs> brother. Let's dance like nobody's watching and please don't watch me dance. <laughs> yeah. Say I like to go hiking. I don't, but... <laughs> Looking for someone to keep up with me while I hide. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay. All wow. right. Scary, you're really good at this. Tony, you're kind of launching pretty quick into this. You're feeling good, right? We got through all the bad emotions and now we're ready to fix you, right? That's the this what's Tony going on. looks at you and he's through still all the bad emotions and ready to be fixed. So he's smiling now, but his tears are still falling down his face and he's like trying to force a smile through his pain. He goes, Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling great. You get a text back from May Hale saying, like, to kill? Question <laughs> <laughs> Stand by. <laughs> Response, stand by. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, Miss Hale didn't understand. I just text back, are you single? <laughs> Mihail says, you're a kid. <laughs> yeah, that's not a picture of me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm single. What are you asking? Why? What? Is this man somebody that you could see possibly dating? Or spending the rest of your life <laughs> with. <laughs> spending the rest of your life with. Link, give the phone to Scary. Okay. Oh, here, Scary. I don't know. Miss Hill's not understanding me. Here you go. Uh, hello? We're texting. No, we're texting. We're texting. We're texting. <laughs> so you text hello. hello. She goes, hi. It's, you don't have to say hello. We're texting. Shut up. <laughs> Never mind. And she just blocks you. Damn. Oh, no. How long do I need help? <laughs> Blocked from her phone now. Do you think we should maybe just check in on like what the situation is with Ralphie and his wife? Here's what I yeah. think. I don't Yo, know if we, we need to attack in that. the Tony problem. Tony, we need to attack this problem from multiple angles. I think this whole Tinder thing, this is a great way for you to see what a catch you are, because I think you're going to get a bunch of lovely responses. It's going to do wonders for your self-esteem. But you mentioned something going wrong earlier. You like the moment when your life went wrong. What do you think that was? He goes, oh, probably after we had Margarita. I didn't give enough time to my, you got to date your wife, you know? You got to date her. You got to treat her like a queen. And I let myself get wrapped up in my work and taking care of Margarita. You just said you do no work here, basically. Let me treat I you like a queen. I still manage to get wrapped up in it because I care. <laughs> okay. Let me treat you like a queen and wrap you up. So, mi Mr. Tony, I'm assuming you don't like your wife getting dick deep by this person named Ralph, right? Dude, Ralphie. That Ralphie. is accurate. It's one thing to tell us, but have you told your wife this? Uh... Let me explain something to you. When you grow up, you don't have conversations like that. You kind of just look at each other in the distance and sort of make eyes at each other. And you don't talk about the mm. stuff that would really hurt. Because if it really hurts, then you have to break up. And well, I don't as a future up. teacher of America, I got to teach you something, buddy. I think you do have to talk to your wife about that. And you do need to communicate. You're never too old to communicate. I thought it's the opposite, I thought. I thought as you get older, you're supposed to be better at communicating. I, I guess. All right, you want me to call her? Okay, I posted you Sure, do we have to be here for that? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, no, you should probably be here for this. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Okay, yeah, that's okay. great. We'll tell him what to say. Okay. All right. All right. Calling her. Ring, ring. That's her ringtone. It's like that scene. <laughs> it's his voice? No, it's that's her voice. adorable. It's her voice. We sound the same. <laughs> it's like I've seen in Ready Player One when all the people are doing the trivia. He's got like the whole room of nerds for the trivia. <laughs> yeah. All right. Ring, ring. And she goes, hello. <laughs> um, say hello. hello. Hey, honey. Hello. It's your husband, Anthony. Let's not go off script, buddy. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, what are, what are you calling me for? you just calling to hear her voice. I'm just calling to hear your voice. And she goes, your voice is the thing. You can just talk to yourself. <laughs> you don't need to call me to hear your voice. It's basically say, the same Say, part. but my voice sounds sweeter coming from your mouth. <laughs> my voice sounds sweeter. Coming from your mouth. I don't know why I put emphasis on coming like that. I'm sorry. Yeah, coming. <laughs> I didn't mean to. And she goes, uh, are you?
are you drinking? <laughs> and school, and school's still in, right? What are you, what, what's going on? Something, something's wrong, right? Uh, you said you want to date your wife. Uh, do you want to go on a date, honey? We should have date night, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. I thought it was that or maybe him addressing the fact that she's going to be cheating on him. <laughs> What do you think you should do? I smoke first. It's my turn. Okay, you go. You, you Okay, he'll date his wife. <laughs> All right, I, I want to take you out on a date. Do you want to go on a date tonight, honey? She goes, you know, I can't. I've got, I've got work. You know, I've got work at the... Is work spelled R-A-L-P-A-F? Is work spelled R-A-L-P-F? <laughs> and she goes, <laughs> how do you know about R-A-L-P-F? <laughs> I mean, wait, no, that's not how it's spelled Ralph. Okay? <laughs> how do you know about Ralph? Say, you just told me. <laughs> he leans in real close to the phone. He goes, you just told me. <laughs> and she goes, oh, no. Oh, honey, this isn't how I wanted you to find out. Uh, you, it, you know what? Let me let me explain. I'd love to hear you explain. He says, I'm going off script. I'm going rogue. <laughs> and she goes, look, Ralphie was there for me. When I needed a loving hand and other appendages when you were. <laughs> and it's not entirely a romantic thing. It's mainly just sexual. <laughs> mainly. Sometimes I think I might fall in love with him, but it hasn't happened yet. <gasps> and now Tony's looking at you guys like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh what do I do? <laughs> Say, uh, um, say you feel the same way. <laughs> I, I feel the same way. And I understand goes, you. About, about Ralph, you feel that, or about me? About Ralph, say it. Ralph. About Ralph. <laughs> I'm also having sex with Ralph. Wait, are and you? And I think I might fall in love with him. And he looks at you like, right? That's what you yeah. wanted me to say? Yeah. Sure. So she goes, you're, ch you're cheating on me? <laughs> and he goes, does it feel so great, does, does it? Does it feel so great, does it? <laughs> And she goes, no, it doesn't. <laughs> no, I know how I feel. How yeah. dare you? How dare you? You know what? We're done. You and me, we're done. I don't want to see you again. I'm taking margarita. Who's saying this, actually? <laughs> <laughs> His wife. Okay, okay. I'm taking margarita, and you can just stay there in your principal's office and enjoy the sound of your own voice and just hope that it's, it's me. But it won't be. It'll just be your voice echoing <laughs> off the fucking walls of your office, and now I sound kind of like Kermit. <laughs> Tony, freestyle, just speak from your heart. Tell her how you feel. Just, Obi, it's time to be vulnerable. All right. It's freestyle time from Tony Pepperoni. <laughs> I think there's a role for this, I think, for Tony, right? How good is he at it? Yeah, I'll roll for him. <laughs> curious. I don't know if you noticed, but I've been on my phone slightly more than usual. It's because since Beth brought it up, I've been trying to make a Tinder profile using only Vincent Kennedy McMahon pictures oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> to see if I get any results. So he gets a 13, so it's like above average. Can we help them? I'm going to help him with that role. Okay, go ahead. By like giving him shoulder rubs. Right. Okay. You got this, like a, like a cut man in a fucking boxing. An emotional you know cut man. Emotional cut man. <laughs> I think that is probably what a little wisdom roll or something, or what? Is, what do you think that is? I would say that's performance. Performance, just a straight D twenty. That's an eight. Okay, so an eight. You give a bad back massage. It hurts him. Oh shit, guys, help! Okay. Come on, help! Oh, oh, the pain I feel in my heart and in my shoulders right now is nothing compared to the pain that I'll feel from losing you, my dear Desdemona. <laughs> You're yeah, that's her name. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Name's Desdemona Pizza. <laughs> Desdemona Bologna Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and even though you've been cheating on me consistently with Ralph, I'm willing to forgive you if you'll just recommit yourself to this relationship because I'm, noth I'm nothing without you. We're two halves of a pizza, and I'm not, I don't want to be a lonely pepperoni. You know what I mean? <laughs> Baby? <laughs> Baby, you there? Lee just finds himself crying for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's really upsetting. It's, it's so beautiful. Like, What's happening? And he just turns to you guys and goes, she hung up. Guys, I know what we have to do. What, we, what do we have to do? As I'm pretty sure we just torqued this guy's marriage. Yeah, we gotta yeah, but kill like, Ralph. We the band gotta off. kill Ralph? Yeah. <laughs> well, wait, what's that gonna do, Scary? I don't know. <laughs> I just know it's the right thing to do. Oh, well. Well, let's table that Yeah. for now. Tony, well, tell us about Ralph. Ralph, he's the principal of an opposing high school. Oh, the better one? Yeah. That's right. He's a principal of Chaparral High School. He's like me, but taller. Oh, he's a really Ralph good looking Ricotta guy. from Chaparral High oh, School. Yeah, no. Ooh, Ralph Ricotta. 30 under 30. How could she? I'm the San Dimas Ricotta. You're, you're too good for her. I'm glad you think that, but it's not true. She's the light of my life. She oh. was anyway. Now the light is gone. And then I grab him and I cast Beacon of Hope. Ooh, <laughs> wow. This spell bestows hope and vitality. 
choose any number of target creatures within range. I cast it on Tony Pepperoni. So he has advantage on wisdom and saving throws and stuff like that. But for the purposes but, yeah. of role play, he's like, I'm like, no, if you love her, you go to her. Look, as someone who's lost just so much recently in terms of my relationship with my dad and my uncle. And like, I'm just feeling weird about my whole family. You can't give up on love. You can't give up Tony Pepperoni. Give me a T. A T. Give me an O. Oh. Give me an N. N? Give me a Y. Oh, it's my name. Yeah, y. it's y. your name. You're Tony. Look at yourself in the mirror. And I turn around and I point him at the mirror. He's, oh God. <laughs> oh no. Do you want to look like this for the rest of your life? No. Then go get her, buddy. And I push him out the door. All right. I'm hey, going. Follow me. <laughs> hey, hey, hey Norval, do you think that maybe his wife's also the problem? <laughs> we gotta kill his wife. <laughs> so uh, he drives to. I was just in the back of the car. Yeah, you're just in the back. He's like, you, you wanted to just, just shadow me all day, right? All right. Scooch in. I've got this, a hatchback. Wow, this, is this what's always like to be a principal? Yeah, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, yes. I mean, yeah, pretty much every day. Yes. Cool. All right, here we go. Vroom, vroom. Uh, sorry, that's what my car makes that noise. I, I, I custom it. Sounds it. Like me. My car sounds like me. I made it a custom. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Tony, we heard you like pepperoni, so we donated your car so you can Tony oh, pepperoni. Yeah. Tony pepperoni was one of the cars picked for like the new reboot of like MTV, like Pimp My Ride. <laughs> and so it's just like that's a pizza oven in the back. <laughs> Help yourself to, to some calzones. No, he's like the one person that won. You know, like pizza always does like the Jurassic Park van or something. He's like, who wins those things? <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> yeah. He's got the Jurassic Park van with a pizza oven in the back. <laughs> Help yourself, kids. <laughs> da, na, 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 the na, best na, that's, that's, the, that's the noise it makes when I back up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to my wife's work <laughs> okay. at the library next to Chaparral High School. Oh, oh, library. Library. oh buddy. All right. Oh, bud. So you arrive at the Chaparral Branch Public Library. Just cough before you enter. Like, make some noise before you walk in. I always cough. <laughs> 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 I want him to know I'm coming. <laughs> well, not then. <laughs> not then. I mean, it's usually, I'm, a, I'm what we call a one pump chump. <laughs> One All cough, right. one pump, and we're done. All right, so we're going in now. <laughs> it's like whatever you Starbucks do, order of make sure you're quiet because it's a library. Okay. So be polite. Okay. All right, you too. Don't this get is angry. as quiet as I get. I'm sorry. All right, okay. so they go Inside in, and voices, she's everyone. She's manning the late returns desk for fines and stuff like that. And he goes, well, 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 look who's looking awfully fine today. She goes, stop, stop it, stop it. You used that pickup line on me when we first met, and it's not cute anymore. It's not funny. It's not sexy. You've been cheating on me. And he goes, no, 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 I wasn't cheating. These four children told me <laughs> that I should tell you that I was cheating. And she goes, what? And she looks at you. Hi, Mrs. Pepperoni. Yeah, we were we were trying to help him out with uh, your little... My name's Mrs. Pizza. I didn't take his name. Hi, Mrs. Pizza. Wow, I'm sorry. good for you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, we girls got to stick together. Yeah, I mean, yeah. why do I like you? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, well, hold on, hold on. Tony's going to talk now. It was mostly you were mostly talking Tony's to us. Tony's going to talk now. <laughs> <laughs> you were mostly talking to us on the phone. We did a bad job, so we're just here for moral support for our favorite principal because he's a really good principal. I'm sure he's a good father and husband too. Um, I, I'll have you also know that I did a summer uh, internship as a peer counselor, so I have some experience oh. resolving interpersonal disputes. I'm also training as a backup plan to be a therapist if I can't become a mascot. I would love to offer my services to help you guys work through these issues that you're having. You can call him Professor Oak. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes only for Anthony. I mean, I'm amazed that that didn't get more of a reaction. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Desdemona goes, sure, I guess you can be the, the mediator. Can you tell my husband, soon to be ex, that I don't love him anymore? <sighs> and how does that make you feel? <laughs> Which one of us, Desdemona or Desdemona. Or it makes me feel irritated that I'm still married to him and I want to be over with it so I can live with Ralphie full time. Mm. Uh, and Wait, you're the mascot kid? Where's the suit? Uh, one moment, please. And I See, have an deflecting. inflatable Teeny the Teen emergency helmet okay. that I keep in my back pocket and I spend 10 minutes blowing it up and come back with it on. All right, roll deception. I feel like constitution maybe to see if I blow it up all the way. What do they do for 10 minutes while you're blowing it up? Yeah, so they just sit there in silence for <laughs> 10 minutes. You guys can figure out go. what they're doing for 10 minutes. I'm going to go inflate my inflatable <laughs> teeny the teen head. Oh, I go, um, excuse me, Ms. Pizza. Ms. Pizza. Mm. No, it's still Mrs. It's just Mrs. Yeah. Pizza because I'm married, but I didn't take his name. I miss pizza too. So my question, <laughs> um, it's where are the ah. where are the computers? I have some animated printout. <laughs> uh, there are computers in, in the back there near the kids section. Ah, yes. In the yes, open yes. air zone, so everybody can see whatever you're doing on the computer. That so don't try fine. any funny stuff. That is fine. I will be right back, everybody. All right, I, I, I walk over, over to Scary, the only person who stayed here. I guess. Yeah. 
hey, okay, Scary, you're like more worldly, I think, than the three of us. Like, we need him to not be lonely, but I'm pretty sure if he stays with his wife, he's just going to stay lonely because this isn't any sort of relationship I've seen. This seems pretty like a movie, really, like a bad one. So, like, what do you think? I mean, as the Phantom of the Opera once said, he could learn to be lonely. Yeah, oh, that's great. I think he kind of already knows how to be, but like, you're talking about like, like, be good at it. Normal's pulling up his... Guys, I'm back. I got an 11 on my constitution roll. So, yeah, I have a sad, half-deflated okay. Tina. The, look, Tina the Tina is in all of our hearts. He's in all of our oh, spirits. You God, just got to deal with me. He's horrible looking. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not as strong as I think I am. I don't think I am. I'm not that strong. But that's my thing, and I'm shouldering that burden as best I can. We're going to fix your marriage so Tony won't be lo- lonely anymore. That's the name of the game today. So, um, whatever you're, uh, what problem you're having with him... Why don't you just say it so we can get over it and you guys can be happy and he can be happy and we can save the world. Desdemona says, there's nothing to fix. The marriage is over. I don't care about him anymore and whatever feelings he has toward me are irrelevant. It takes two to tango, as we say. And Tony says, we do say that. No, I would do anything for you. I love oh, you, you more than anything. you guys have sayings. How cute. We did. Okay. Oh, God. As you were on your computer checking out anime, you're a, to your right. And you turn and you see Hero oh, Garcia like looking over <gasps> your shoulder, looking at your like anime search. She just goes, "Pretty wish league if I say so myself." But uh, <laughs> why? Well, oh, oh, oh! I, I take it you're a true expert in this regard. Uh, yeah, sure. You're still on the Toy Stories one through three. I've evolved to Toy Story Gaiden, the prequel <laughs> series. <laughs> Wait, is that the one where Buzz and Woody... No, no, no. That's the sequel, Toy Story 5. Love is War, where Woody and Buzz get married. What are you doing here, you nerd? I know you don't read. I am trying to save the world. What are <sighs> you doing here, Oh, you my nerd? God. What get is a that room. <laughs> where are you, Scary? Are you across the, I'm just across like, the I'm, library? I'm, like, in between way these two far away. <laughs> I'm so far away. But it's really quiet, so your voice travels. <laughs> We're trying to save the world. We're trying to help Tony Pepperoni fix his fucked up marriage by the power of anime. It sounds like two different things, my dude. <laughs> no. Saving the world is like saving a fucked up marriage. What are you fucking Shows talking about? Shows how much about? you fucking know, you idiot. Oh, I fucking hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I kill you. you look, look, look at me. Stand look your at me. ass. Look at me. Go on. Right. I can't look, look, look away. You're like a car look crash. Look at me. Your face is like a human fucking car crash. I promise I will kill you. I will fucking kill you first. I will kill you first, you piece of shit. Which my brother never befriended you in the fucking first place. I'm going to find where you sleep and I'm going to throw a pipe bomb in your bedroom. I'll fucking catch it in my mouth if it means I don't have to fucking see your face again. Happily. <laughs> well, once, blow, once it explodes, once it blows my face wide open like a goddamn chest burster, I'll still be happier and cuter than you, you dumb fuck. I think we've made some real progress here today. I storm off really angrily and then as I'm storming off, we cut to inside of Taylor's head and Taylor goes like, hey, one step closer to making her fall in love with me. <laughs> we go into the hero's head she's like, I'm gonna kill that guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to the normal scene. Normal did not even see that his yeah. sister was just here. He just felt like a sort of twinge of irritation on the back of his head. <laughs> Who's talking like over there? Sins, da, da, da. That's about I do anything for you, but it, it appears that ship has sailed for you. She goes, yep, it just the passion's not there anymore. Whatever I usually hold for you, I hold for that guy over there. And she points behind you, normal. And the principal chaparral is there, and he's looking down at your teeny the teen costume with like hungry eyes, <laughs> <laughs> and his hands slowly move toward it as if to pluck it off of your uh, scalp. <gasps> hey, don't touch him. What me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that guy just touched that kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 Rolls yeah. yeah. Roll deception. <laughs> I'm helping. I'm helping. God damn it! Taylor got told. Oh, Taylor. Taylor, I think, runs in from the back. Being like, yeah, yeah, I saw it. I recorded it on my phone. I got a natural 20 plus three. Bitch. Oh my God. <laughs> so immediately the library security guard goes, hands off the kid. And he's like, what, me? The security guard starts chasing after him. He goes, oh no. And he starts running. Taze him, taze him, bro. He's just a library security guard. They don't give him stun guns. In the future. They give them real guns. <laughs> <laughs> Those are her precious America, yeah, baby. America. Uh, the video you have of him going, I didn't touch a kid, and running goes viral. <laughs> and Chaparral's principal will, in the ensuing weeks, be known as like, the I didn't touch a kid guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the pithy nickname they give him, the I didn't touch a kid guy, Chap pervert. So he runs, exits pursued by a library security guard. She goes, oh, great. Now you put my boyfriend in hot water. You think I was going to solve things for you? You think I was going to make anything easier for he you? He put that on himself. He didn't. He was just trying to take the costume. And why would he do that? 
Because it's an ongoing thing between... Or because yeah. it was on a kid. <laughs> <laughs> if you're trying to convince me that my boyfriend is a pedophile by something that I just saw you make up, <laughs> you're going to have a hard time of it. Man, this is hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I told you to kill him. <laughs> you know what, guys? Let's let's pack it in. I got to get you back to school no. anyway. Look. Okay. Wait, Tony Pebble, 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 wait, Pebble, wait, Pebble, we gotta, Huh? Okay. Pebble, all right. We have to take the place of his wife. Because I think that's not going to work <laughs> out. No, I just think that's not going to work out. But we have to make him not lonely. So I think we just have to become his like best friends. Like in the same way you guys became my best friend. But I'm wait, not lonely but, but anymore. Wait, but wait, but this is going to be a problem. Oh, that's really sweet though. Yeah. Wait, thanks. Jeez. And that was easy. That was like we just <laughs> hung out. Like, Shut up. This is a library. <laughs> <laughs> Like, we have other things we have to do, so unless you're proposing that we take shifts being friends with our friends. Wait, what else do we have to do? We literally have to save the world. One of the first steps to save the world is make this guy not lonely. Yes, so. first step. How do you start a journey of a thousand miles? Well, maybe we become really good friends. He'll become like a new sidekick for us or something. He can be helpful. I was just saying this is the next one step at a time. What's the step? We have to make him not lonely. So what do you propose? I'm saying we make him not lonely by like hanging out with him. I turn to Tony and his wife, Desdemona. Oh, is it just is it like a Sons and Sons ability thing? Her name's Desimona? Is she a, whatever. We're just that's one for the fans. Figure that out. Fucking figure that out. Uh, Mr. Pepperoni, Miss Pizza. In all six months as a pure counselor, I've never encountered a case as tough as this one. And I just want to thank you both for sharing your feelings today, being honest. Sometimes the truth is beautiful, even if it's hard to stomach. And I just want to say I think we made some real progress today. And Tony, do you want to be our best friends? Uh, I'm going to have him roll. <laughs> How vulnerable is he right now? Yeah, he rolled a 12, so he's pretty vulnerable. I'm going to give you a plus three because he's so vulnerable. He goes, yeah, you know what? Yeah, if I can't feel the joy and the love in my heart that I felt when I was young and I met you, Desdemona, I guess I'll feel it with these kids. Like platonically, <laughs> again, I'm going to just hang out with these kids now and protect them the way that you didn't protect my heart. I'm, we're going. And he leaves yeah. the library with all of you. Meet your competition, like <laughs> 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 He's doing just fine. So the, all the blogs up there, they go, all principals are pedophiles. <laughs> Every single one of them in San Dimas. As we're leaving, I think Taylor has like a literal stack that's above his head of just like all the fucking mangas that have released in the time that we've been like away. Uh -huh. And he's just like, sorry guys, this is irrelevant, but I just need some catching up to do on the series. That you've I'm got Moana-chan, you've got, <laughs> you've got Lightyear Sama. Oh no, that's Gaiden. That's Toy Story Gaiden yeah, is Lightyear. Toy Story Gaiden Lightyear. Oh, also as you're driving to and from the school, you see like, it's kind of like Escape from New York-y. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> because the mayor has still not been caught and the mayor's oh. acolytes are kind of still running around. So you see like, Doodler eyes, like wide eyed people smiling, just like the mayor, like trying to tip cars over. And oh. while you're driving around, Tony Barbaroni is like, Yeah, this has been happening in the past couple of months. The main is the thing Sonic is just still here. Slowdown. The one with the big sign that says, Don't let in these four kids, and it's got pictures <laughs> of all of you. Yeah, that one's still around. Oh, okay. So that's the world, also. But yeah, <laughs> go ahead and roll to see how effective your anime therapy, your manga therapy is. Hey, Tony, yes, I have here a list. We just cut you back at school. He's like, I don't want to sleep at home anymore because it's her place, so I'm just going to sleep in my office. But well, yeah, let's, let's well, go to the AV room and watch some anime. <laughs> uh, well, no, I, I printed out the animes for them. All right. Well, I guess we can do it. I guess we do it in the library. Print out animes? Yeah. Mangas. Frame mangas, by frame mangas, or the manga? Maybe? Okay. Well, manga and anime are two separate things. I would assume you would know that. Listen. Damn. I, when, when, when Taylor should have to roll. Yeah, psychic Taylor roll psychic yeah. damage. Taylor also goes like, when dealing with a lay person, it's important to slowly introduce new <laughs> terms. If I was truly a lay person, you would just call it Japanimation and left it at that. You know it. I did two damage to myself. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and roll for for manga. Feels like an Arcana roll to me. I think Arcana or History is probably Arcana. fine. Sixteen plus two, eighteen. Eighteen. He's like, oh. I see the appeal of this. And a month goes by. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do the next month of your friendship <laughs> with Principal Tony Pepperoni? You said yourself you have time. There's nothing else you're doing. So a month goes by and you just watch all of the favorite animes of Taylor's. Okay, in that case, what happens to Margarita? Margarita, as you're reading anime, like the style of a kindergartner where Taylor is holding up in the book and like reading the captions aloud to the room and then turning the page. Yeah, so there's yeah. a montage of like us every morning. We like bring Tony like donuts and a coffee and we tell him he's doing and great. Like, we'll see you after school. And then after school, we just watch anime with him. Yeah, you watch we anime. we just become his friend. And every day around three when school gets out, Margarita peeks in her head and she's like, Dad, I'm going home. And he's like, yeah, t tell your mother that, um, well, it doesn't matter. And she goes, Ugh. And she just closes the door. Like, damn, and Margarita's leaves. undoing all the good work. Well, then halfway through the month, we all take a step to Margarita. He's like, hey, Margarita, how are you doing with all this? Like, your dad seems like, you love your dad still, right? 
of course I love my dad. I just wish they would fucking divorce already. I'm sick of it. They argue all the time. They would be better apart, but they just like- Well, they are apart. Yeah, they are apart now. I'd be like yeah. permanently, properly apart. You know, so I, mean, you just I, don't, I don't know if you've ever been a child of separation or not. My mom's first marriage didn't go super well, so I, that's why I also kept her name and not Tony Pepperoni's, but oh. like- you know, divorce is actually pretty good if the marriage isn't going well. And so right now they're in this stupid holding pattern and you're just sort of putting, you know, you're trying to solve this wound when it seems in reality- like they're kind of trying to do it for you. Maybe you're the problem. Whoa, whoa. Sure. rolled <laughs> persuasion <laughs> or intimidation. I got a seven. All right. She goes, no, I'm not the problem. Maybe you're the problem. Hey, maybe you, maybe, maybe they saw you, you and oh. they thought, ew. If guys. a girl that ugly can exist, <laughs> guys, then I don't want to be alive anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we hey, can you, can you so come, scary. Can you come to, we've been watching anime with your dad every day after school for like six hours every day. That's what your dad does after school now. So That's what he does? Yeah. Um, I hoped he just had an affair. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no, oh my oh, God. Oh, um, but very clearly not at all. Um, can you, can you come watch anime with us tomorrow? I guess. Taylor, is there like any good anime that's like about like this? <laughs> <laughs> You know, that like, you know, sometimes art can make people like, you know, Margie's going to be here tomorrow. Wait, it's just like in that classic TV series, Final Fantasy XIV, Dad of Light, where a dad and their son bond over playing Final Fantasy XIV together. Like, maybe he'll bond with his daughter and like, then, you know, we can kind of offload this emotional burden onto her. Yeah. And it won't be well, a problem anymore and he'll be fixed. Or it shouldn't be a burden. Like, you know, like my dad's telling me like, I'm like the light of the world and like every day they're not lonely because I exist. So like, shouldn't like Tony be less lonely because he's got a kid? Like... They should spend more time together. So, like, yeah, yeah let's start. I don't know. Up. Sometimes spending time with your kid or your dad makes you more lonely. Never. It's the best thing in the world. Whatever. Speak for yourself. I am. It's the best thing <laughs> in the world. Scary. <laughs> Anthony, have we? Whatever. Has he gotten any hits on his Tinder bio? Well, I haven't finished making it. Oh, I see. You're making it for real. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna make okay. it for real and then see if you if get anybody. Actually, well, <laughs> so well, I, I on like It has been a month. Like, I feel like we can do yeah, a roll. This that's year. fair. It's a month. Go ahead and somebody roll. Just give me a straight up luck roll. <laughs> it's that's not all it luck. Well, Nine. I only got one hit. She said she'd go on. one. We, can, we, fit. we <laughs> made it. It was we us. Yeah. It was you guys. <laughs> it was a literal horse. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was a picture of a horse. And then I got another one that it was from somebody who said they needed a hundred roses to go on a date with me. I don't even know what that means. This is a prostitute. I do know what that I know what that means. <laughs> and I gave her a hundred roses. <laughs> she was really upset. <laughs> so yeah, no, no, no luck on the old tender for Anthony Pepperoni. Oh hey, Margarita's gonna join our one month our anniversary anime of anime clubs. So oh hey, you wanna watch you wanna watch anime with your your old man? And she goes, Oh my god, I I'll do it once. Once. Okay, you get one of these. So what are we watching, I guess? Oh, oh hmm. There's a, an old adaptation called Parent Trap. <laughs> <laughs> That's the opposite of the lesson. That's what my parents can get back together. Four. <laughs> four. Oh, four. Four. Good parent one. versus parent. Parent versus parent. <laughs> Which mirrors. Oh, my parents, my dad said I couldn't watch that one because it was a bad lesson. <laughs> <laughs> two, two twins scheme to get their parents divorced. <laughs> Roll a D20 they're Arcana. They're quadruplets at this point. Yeah, they're quadruplets. <laughs> they're a force to be reckoned with. That's what the cover says. Well, the oh whole time God. we're watching, we've set up seats in the classroom when we watch, like on the projector. And I'm sitting right behind and in between Tony and Margarita. And like anytime something that seems relevant, like I kind of whisper, I'll like lean into Margarita. He's like, your dad probably feels that way. And then like, <laughs> when like, and then like, it's like, happens like, you know, Margarita probably want to hear that from you sometimes. <laughs> so like, I just like, the whole anime. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Taylor, roll Arcana, and Lincoln, roll Persuasion as you whisper these things. 14 plus 2, 16. Wow. <laughs> I got, like, the good, like, laser disc print, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I got a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> So Tony's really into the fucking movies. Like, wow, Lindsay Lohan was really an underutilized talent in anime. Yeah, in anime. In anime. Uh, she's just great voice, voice acting. acting. Yeah, That's yeah. how she came back around. That was her second act. Yeah, yeah um, she voiced Broly in. <laughs> uh, but Margarita, as you lean over, like, oh, your dad might like to hear that kind of stuff. She's like, this is the most transparent fucking thing I've ever seen. You think a shitty anime is going to make me repair hey. my relationship with my dad? No. Hey, you. Hey, this is a waste of my time. This is a waste of my dad's time. You were enabling him. It's disgusting. I am out of here. And she leaves. If you guys are still down with killing her, I am. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I'm so bad at this, guys. This is hard. It's been a month. It's been a month and we haven't <laughs> got no progress. Whole month. This I whole adventure's deep. been a month. <laughs> We've done so much in a month. This is a whole month. I look deep within my soul to see if we've made any progress whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yeah. the uh, insight? Uh, I got a 19. Okay, oh. so with a 19... You can tell that I basically give him loneliness hit points. 
um, so to speak, and you're trying to get them to zero. So he started out with 10. Mm -hmm. He is down to eight. <gasps> oh, I have, an, I have an idea. Is this like something bad happens if we don't do this in time? Is there like a sort of Damocles if we keep doing this? Like, <laughs> yeah, because it's like five months, like we could get them down to zero. All right, I have one more, I have one more plan. I don't think I could last five Also, all the stuff with, with Margarita Pizza, he was like, I just want to watch anime now. And he <laughs> spent no, another month no, just no, watching no, anime. No, he goes into a depressive fugue state. Okay, guys, guys, so much. this has been the best two months of my <laughs> life. Guys, it's been a while. Remember... My dad, they would always throw, you know, dinner parties for like the neighbors and stuff. Like maybe he needs adult friends. Why don't I ask my dad? Like, you know, especially since other dads like on fucking whatever we've lied about for a month on vacation or whatever work vacation for a month that Marco believed. I can tell him that maybe just and not even singles. There doesn't have to be anything like sexual about this. Just like, you know, just like just maybe adult, he gets invited to like adult dinner party. Adult companionship. Yeah, just hang out. My dad's the best. So, like, of course he's going to be less lonely if he's hanging out with my dad and his friends. What if I had, like, an even cooler adult friend? Sure, he can come. Are they? Wait, is it Willie? No. Okay, well then, who okay. is it? Um, Sounds um, like it's Willie scary. Like it's Willie. Um, it's We're not. It. It's scary. Um, it's my god grandmother. Mm, your okay. god grandmother. God grandmother? Wow, that's pretty. Wow. Wow. I don't even know. Oh, I am the god grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> What's her name? Beth. Werther's Beth? Beth? Beth. Beth. Beth May. Okay. Beth is well, still yeah. alive. <laughs> sure. If you give me a yeah, sure. information, right Beth. I'll, uh, maybe I'll, I'll call her right now. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah. I was gonna, my dad should probably call. Ring, ring. To you went viral okay. that ringtone. Ring, ring. <laughs> are you calling Beth or are you calling Willie? Ooh. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah, it could <laughs> be Willie really pretending lying. to be Beth. I'll do Willie pretending okay, to be guys. Beth. Okay, guys. Great. <laughs> What's up? Um, so I know we haven't really talked at all, but I'm looking to find an adult friend for my adult <laughs> friends. This is like how you call a fucking call center for like prostitutes. Yes, a <laughs> prostitute call center. It's for a friend. <laughs> Prostitution hotline, how I direct your call. <laughs> and then you're really circumvent about it. <laughs> a prostitute uh, call center. Yes, I need an adult friend <laughs> for my adult friend. Oh, yes, that's why we're here. <laughs> That's why we, the prostitution call center, are here. <laughs> here for. Um, he's looking for a good time. Can we roll to see if we know? What's yeah, really roll good. insight with disadvantage because it's over the phone. I got a natural one. Twelve plus three, fifteen. Okay, I got twelve. Taylor knows that it's not necessarily whoever Scary is saying it is. Mm. <laughs> so he needs some friendly companionship, does he? Yes. Well, I loved you, but I'm currently a bit. <laughs> Indisposed. <laughs> I've been locked up and listening to riddles for the past two months. Hey, straight. wait a minute. This oh. sounds familiar. <laughs> I'm not on Vita phone. Shut up. Well, maybe we could bring the pizza to you. Like what? That was a dinner party, scary. Yeah, we're not, more we're of going an to my house. Dinner party. What? Okay, but the door's gonna have to be open for me to get the pizza. <laughs> I can't eat pizza through a locked door. I should have really thought about this before I dialed this number. <laughs> Was that really scary? I mean, you got everything you need to open the door, so just get the thing that opens hey, the door. Hey, scary, this sounds, it sounds a lot like you're just talking to Willie. I can't believe you guys don't believe, believe women. Oh, my God. I, more than anyone, believed in the power of a zany scheme to fix all of his problems, but we've been at this for months, and I'm starting to think the problem might be within. It might be Tony. So listen, I think we should just level with him about what's going on. I think he needs that kick in the ass. I go up to Tony and say, Tony. Yeah. It's been two months, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Is two months not enough time to get over a divorce for you? <laughs> <laughs> Do I need to be going faster with the love of my I'm life like, and the no, mother of my child leaving me? Look at you. you just need to buck up because you've got like, a, there's, huh. There's a monster inside of you, and if we, we I can't... know. <laughs> All right, let's take him to the dinner party. Oh. Look, you either guys stop being lonely, or we're gonna have to kill you. That's that's the situation. <laughs> <Yeah>. Roll intimidation. <laughs> it's a twelve. A twelve. I mean, that's a little strong. You're coming out a little strong for that. I already feel like I'm dying inside anyway. So what's the point? Well, I mean, nobody's killing anybody. I'm just miserable all the fucking time. I wish I was dead, kind of, but it's some bad dinner party. I you want to go hang out with some adults and not us? Honestly, kind of, yeah. It's been two months. I've only been seeing you kids. <laughs> yeah. Fucking weird. All right, well, in an just... office or a headquarters? No, what are you going to do at my house, Gary? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, you're, you can invite somebody if they can freely they can on their freely own will get, own will get there. there. You can freely on their own will get to the party. Is welcome to come, Scary. Right, I call the real Beth May. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yes? Hey, will Hello? you come to this party? Who is this? You don't know me, really. Like, your How friend. did you get this your friend is like my step-step grandfather, but he, I know oh, he's Oh, you're not, scary. 
Yeah. So, okay. No, got... stop being so scary. I'm <laughs> petrified. Oh, that's real funny. I bet you're a real hit at parties. Damn. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Oh, that's so good. Um, got him. Okay, so will you come to this party or whatever? Um, okay, if you want me to come to a party, Beth May loves to party. She sure does, I guess. Okay, yeah, here's the address. Yep. Yep, and it's going to be... Now. No, it's 7 p.m. tomorrow. 7 p.m. tomorrow. I need some, we gotta make dinner. Should I bring anything? Should you bring, uh, should I bring copies of my new poetry oh, book? Any, Don't uh, do that. Any, what, any food allergies? Do you have any food allergies? I'm allergic to bullshit. That's cool. <laughs> um, Tell her what that's always so Only great <laughs> shooting for me, best mate. She sounds awesome. She, uh, she's she's gonna fine, fit right in. fine, I guess. Okay. okay. See um, you then. I said Marco a text that just says, Dad, you gotta throw a dinner party at 7 p.m. tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants what? <laughs> It's important. I have a friend. He needs our help. Hey, there's a guy who's going through a divorce. He's really lonely. He's our principal. You've met him. He just needs a good time. And also, I think it would be nice for you to spend some time since dad's been away for so long. This is what my text says. <laughs> Roll persuasion with advantage, because that's a good argument. <laughs> got six with advantage. He goes, I'm not hosting a party. I'll do, I'll do everything. I'll do everything. I'll do everything. Well, to cook, all you have to do, oh, dad, you deserve it. All you have to do is sit down and enjoy time with your friends. Okay, you just want me to invite my friends, and then also you're going to separately invite some sad divorce guy? You've met him, Mr. B Mr. Pepperoni. You've met him before. I have, but he's not my friend. Yeah, I know. He just needs to... He, he just, you're on speaker. He just... Oh, yeah. Hey, all, they're all here. My friends, my friends too. Yeah, they're going to help I out. I can't wait what, for your dad to get home. What is a stranger but a potential future yeah. friend? Just, just... You don't have to, Fine. like... I'm not cooking anything, but I will not kick you out. Oh, we could get catered by Sonics. Yeah, we'll figure out something. I'm not paying yeah. for Sonics. Yeah, no, you don't have to pay any... Well, you're going to have to... I don't have my own money, but like... We we'll, a, we'll get dinner. Don't worry about it. We cut to the party. Okay, great. <laughs> Everyone is here. Tony Pepperoni. <laughs> Marco Wilson. Can we do a thing where we also like posted it on like Craigslist or something? Where it was, like, <laughs> dinner like, party. Where it's we like a big wild, dinner party. Weird people coming. We need eight adults. <laughs> <laughs> eight normal adults. It's a dinner party. It's a fucking teenage rape. <laughs> Not sexual question mark. <laughs> I'm so sorry. is there a Craigslist ad with my address on it saying any petty adult who wants a good time, come here. You're right, Matt. I wasn't thinking. You're right. That's okay. not how adult parties So the work. party is bumping. You're listening to the Baja Men. Uh, Beth, <laughs> Beth May shows up with a bottle of Everclear. Um, <laughs> Tony is there in the corner just kind of not talking to anybody. Everybody's having fun conversations. Beth oh, and Marco Beth, seem Beth to be getting May. along. Old Beth May. Don't call me old Beth May. <laughs> <laughs> you got some fucking cheek on you, child. I'd like to introduce you to somebody. Yes? Over here. I, I introduce <laughs> old Beth May to Tony Pepperoni. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Tony Pepperoni. I'm a, I'm a school principal. She goes, I'm Beth May. I do many things. <laughs> I'm a poet. I'm a voice actor. I'm a regular actor. I'm a writer. Okay, we get I'm it. I'm a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, um, what do you think about that? I'm going to see if Tony has, there's, there's a spark. Is, it, is there a spark of attraction? He goes, I hate this woman. <laughs> <laughs> Everything about her seems wrong to me. Yeah, okay, yeah. all right, all right, all right. If anybody would like to, though, they can roll perception. I got a four. <laughs> the actual one. What the fuck? I got Three. a 28. You, and only you, normal notice, that Tony Pepperoni keeps sneaking glances at Marco. <gasps> <laughs> interesting, interesting, interesting. <gasps> Blink. Your dad seems really nice. Yeah, he's the greatest. I mean, like, he's top two. People in the world. Yeah, I definitely feel like I don't make that list. Well, yeah, the other one's my other dad. Those are the top two. Mark no, I heard that. That's why I was agreeing with you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, Fuck. hey, hey, hey. Cheer up, I shouldn't man. have done this. Link, can yeah, I, what's up? Can I just I, wish someone would kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, guys, it'd be so easy. Would it help if I told you that I'm racist? <laughs> <laughs> I got real fucked up opinions about women, too. <laughs> Scary pulls out the Kellogg knife. Link, okay. I have bad news. What? I'm getting vibes. I'm getting vibes between Tony Pepperoni and Marco. I mean? think he likes your dad. Yeah, everybody likes my dad. No, but I mean, I think he likes likes your dad. I mean, okay. Hey, so look. Good luck. He's going to compete with Grant, so. Okay, but like maybe if you look, kind of let him compete a little bit. Like, yeah, maybe, know, maybe he just. How, maybe how much do you trust? I mean, like, look. Yeah, all I'm saying. Whoa. Uh, sure, I, I don't know. I mean, we gotta save the world. I mean, I feel like it's probably gonna be a dead end. I feel like it's gonna make him more lonely uh, when he gets rejected right. by the best dude in the world. <laughs> I just rolled self, and okay. I got a 17 plus two. Somebody else will roll perception opposed 
whoever you're doing a thing to. Who has the garage door opener? I think Link does. Be me. I got an 18. So I steal the garage door opener from Link and I click open. Or are you just doing it from where you are? I'm doing it from where I am. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, well, the party continues as normal then for a bit. We just got to let them party. We just, all the kids just go upstairs and we just play video games. <laughs> <laughs> the kids play video games. The adults, the adults are having the party. I'm just hoping that the party goes well. Beth's downstairs signing autographs. <laughs> and after uh, about an hour, you hear a really loud knock on the door. You hear Marco go, oh, my God, are you, do you need a, uh, and you hear a voice go, no, nah, I'm fine, I'm fine, it's, 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 you should see the other guy. <laughs> Where's your, uh, you have a son, right? And then you hear some murmuring and murmuring and murmuring. Can we peek down the stairs? You like, sure can. Yeah, because we heard a loud knock. Okay, like I want to kids in a. Yeah, guys, do you hear that loud knock? I want to see who's coming to the dinner uh, party. You can roll stealth if you like, if you want to do it without yes. getting spotted. Jeez, fuck it. I got six. You peek over the step and then you fall down the steps <laughs> uh, loudly. And as you roll to a stop, you see. Willie there with two big black eyes. His mouth is bleeding. His nose is bleeding. He's got dried blood all over his face. Looks like parts of his hair have been ripped out. And he goes, hey, just the guy I wanted to, <coughs> just the guy I wanted to see. Oh, uh, you solved the riddles? Yeah. Quickly, I instantly put my hands to my pocket. And it's not there. What the? Um, yeah, good to see you. Oh, scary. And he like looks at you and he follows Scary's gaze to Tony Pepperoni. And he looks back at Scary and he goes, just say the word. Go ahead. Okay. And he pulls a knife out of the, one of the knife holders and just stabs Tony Pepperoni in the throat with it. I'm going to see if Tony Pepperoni rolls anything to avoid that. No, he doesn't. He rolls a six to avoid it. He goes, wait, what's going on? And Willie just stabs him in the throat with a knife. Marco starts screaming. Everybody starts screaming. Beth May is like, metal. And it starts running. <laughs> I run to Tony Pepperoni. It goes, Mr. Pre I, I, you're I, not. I hold his hands. <laughs> I, I rush up to, I cast Cure Wounds on him. Wait, stop. What do you mean, fuck Are you, stop, are you what fucking the fuck? kidding me right now? I cast Cure Wounds on Tony. Okay, so as you move forward with glowing hands to cast your Cure Wounds on Tony Pepperoni, you have to move past Willy, which means he gets an attack of opportunity. So give me a strength saving throw. Okay. I got a four. Okay, so Willy got a six. So you feel his arm grab onto your shoulder and shove you really hard up against the counter and you feel his forearm just pinning you there and he goes, it's, it's over, it's already happened, it's no! done. It's done, it's okay, Fred, it's no! fine, it's fine. Call an ambulance! And Link is there holding Tony Pepperoni and Tony's like, hey man, I'm here, you're, you're not alone, man. I'm, I'm here with you. And he tries to say something, but he got stabbed in the throat, so the coughing up of blood makes uh, his words almost entirely unintelligible. All you can make out is, tell Margarita. And the rest of it is completely unintelligible. Mm -hmm. And he slumps over dead and he's bleeding onto the tile floor. And Marco has grabbed a knife and he's pointing it at Willie and he's really nervously holding it out. I look at Scary and I go, where's the opener? Shouldn't you say thank you? Do you have the opener? Yeah, I have it. Get the fuck out of my house, Scary. And I push her out of the house. Wow. As you go to push her out of the house... I'm assuming you're ignoring Willie, but he's walking with you being like, hey, come on, it's not her fault, come on. You had to do it, you had to do it. She told me on the phone, like, oh, come on. Come on, Willie. Co Guess these guys don't see when you've done them a favor. See you fucking narcs. Narcs. As you watch the silhouettes of Scary Marlowe and Willie Stampler walking into the distance, you slam the door shut behind them. All our days whisked away, but is there something more to say? You know that no one knows us better than ourselves. Used to tell myself it'll be all right. Pretty lies, let me sleep at night. I know that no one knows me better than myself. And I know I'll get this right. It's just a matter of time till we make it out alive. We gotta pick ourselves up and say, not today, no, not today. We live for tomorrow, make steel and bow, break where we can't change. We gotta pick ourselves up and say, not today, no, not today. I don't need
Dungeons and Daddies is Matt Arnold as Lincoln Lee Wilson, Anthony Birch as our DM, Will Campos as Normal Oak, Beth May as Scary Marlowe, and myself, Freddie Wong, as Taylor Swift. Our theme song is On My Way by Max and Waller. Brian Fernandez is our content producer. Ashton Nicola is our community manager. Esther Els is our lead editor. Travis Reeves provides additional editing, and Robin Rapp is our transcriber. We got ourselves a Patreon, and on that Patreon are fine-ass people who support us. People like Kobe Hackett, Andrew Mignola, Zach McNeil, Woa, Zach Lord, Jake Weiner, Caitlin J. Hendricks, Lobby Taylor, Chandler Hines, Jackson Simon, Catcher, Sam Pat- Passau, Joshua Kodamal, Justin Magia, CT, Robert Brundret, Stricken, Dark Wolf, Adam and Rochelle, and Rennie. Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome to another pulse-pounding year of Dungeons and Daddies. We hope you had a good holiday. And if you're looking around for maybe, I don't know, a New Year's resolution, why not settle on treating yourself with more dad content? You know what? Life is hard. You deserve hours of bonus content just right there for the taking on our Patreon. Listen to our after show. Watch videos. Listen to us play bonus one shots. Get the rest of Sons and Sons ability. You heard episode one. You can get the rest of it on our Patreon. You get merch discounts. So there's a lot of stuff you can get. It's great. I love it. I'm a big fan of our Patreon. You can see everything that's on it by going to DungeonsAndDaddies.com slash Patreon and just like scroll down, see all the stuff that you can listen to, watch, enjoy. It could all be yours. And this one's an easy New Year's resolution. You just have to go to patreon.com slash dungeons and dads and you can get it our website is dungeons and daddies.com our twitter dungeons and dads our subreddit is dungeons and daddies and our next episode is coming out january 31st every two weeks just in case you're new here okay bye we gotta pick ourselves up and say not today no not today we live for tomorrow make steel and bottle brave where we can change with me <laughs> hi i know we've never like the talked. immortal soul savage yard 2 is on sale now it took you that long bitch it's really good <laughs>